Hey, what's going on, everybody? Another pod review, Refining Fire Chilies. Look at that website. I'll have that in the description. Let's let this thing focus. Cool. Let's get down. Business. All right, guys. I'm going to try to say this name. Man. Guach, Guajillo. Guajillo. Guajillo, maybe? Anyway, all right, it's Mex that's all Mexico. I'm going to say Guajillo. That's what I'm going to use. Guajillo. Guajillo, Capsicum Annual. The Guajillo chili is one of the most popular chilies grown in Mexico. Commercially, only the Poblano or Ancho is more popular, and the Habanero is grown more in volume. They are grown mostly in North Central Mexico, they are rated between 2,000 and 5,000 Scotesville units of heat, so they're consistent, considered mild. The Guadalupe chilies are three to five feet in length and just over an inch wide. They, they are used dried as whole pods, crushed, powdered, and made as a seasoning paste. Some of the traditional Mexican dishes that use Guadalupe are salsas, mole sauces, meat marinades, and carne abodado. They have savory but slightly fruity tones. It goes on to say some people have incorrect information about Guadalajara, the pronunciation like me. <laughs> they say the, that Guadalajara is the dried marisol chili. Marisol is a chili that grows with pepper pointing up. It is also far smaller. However, confusion comes from another chili named marisol from the Chihuahua region of Mexico. There's also a chili there named Marisol that is similar in color and appearance. It grows pointing down like Guadalajara, but is much smaller in size. So maybe the people in that region, it is also called Guadalajara when dried. After speaking with researchers in New Mexico and Arizona, there's only one conclusion I can come to. The Guadalajara plants are very productive and grow to about 30 inches tall. And here it is. It's what it looks like. Cut it. I think it's going to be very seedy. Yeah. A little bit. Seeds flying all over the place. Wow, there's a lot of seeds. <laughs> I just don't like the taste of a lot of seeds, man. They make me cough sometimes. And also they can sometimes mess up the flavor, especially when there's a lot of them. As you can see, there's still a lot of them up there. It's kind of medium wall pepper. I'm expecting it to be juicy. Oh man, there's still seeds. Get out of there, seeds. That's enough. Oh, cool. Cool texture. It's a little fruity. I like the texture of it too. It's got that. I've said in other videos that like, like leathery, pla like plastic, it's, but it's not like that. It's not tasting like it, but it's just, I can't think of a word for it, but very chewy. There's a word for you. Very chewy pepper. It's medium walled. It's, um, and it's fruity. And it, I like the fact that it grows and I know you can dry this thing and make a lot of stuff out of it. You do put it in a lot of time dishes. You could also cut this up and put it in your, your, um, Maybe a stir fry, salads, or something. It's not. It's nowhere near overpowering. Was it five thousand Scoville units? That's really nothing. Just a little bit of heat. Nice little flavor. Leaves a nice little lingering heat in your tongue and your mouth. Very delicious, man. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Thanks to Duffy for finding fire chilies. I try to keep these things short and sweet so you guys aren't sitting here watching me blabber. Thanks, guys. Later.